was September, I had just finished working as a barista and I had the bright idea of going on vacation alone somewhere far away. So hi, in today's vlog we are at the airport. We're going on a little trip. Bye, hell yeah! So I checked in, went through security and got on the plane to get to my destination. The only negative thing about this trip was that my flight was late at night and would arrive at 12 at midnight. But that wasn't the main problem. During the flight, they served food and a little candy. I chose to eat chicken with rice and a glass of Coca-Cola. As usual, I went to the toilet because I was tired of sitting. And finally, we arrived in Sevilla. We arrived. However, my final destination was not Sevilla. It was just a stopover to catch the next flight. But the next flight was at 7 in the morning, so I was stuck at this airport for 7 hours. 7 hours later, we took off. It took us about 2 hours to get to our final destination. Fortunately, the seats next to me were empty, so I took a power nap because I had been awake for almost 24 hours. Finally, I was in Gran Canaria. So I got home. And now, let me show you the house. This is my bedroom. This is the bathroom. Okay, decent. This is the rest of the house. I'm sorry about the mess. I just came and it's all fucked up. And this is my kitchen. Uh, okay, and this is the view. So, I quit my 9 to 5 job. <sighs> and I don't regret quitting. First of all, I didn't quit. We had a contract, it was for seven months. These seven months passed and... I had to stop and I stopped. So, here's the thing. My opinion about working. Look, I'm not gonna say good or bad, but I'm gonna say it's, it was an experience. And, you know, I learned a lot of things, but also I hated some things too. The good thing with working in general is that you make money. And, you know, I appreciate that I sacrificed these seven months, because now, look, I did something that I, al I always wanted to do, to go on a, little, on a trip by myself. And, you know, the, that feeling that you have paid for everything is uh, very nice. Also, I wanted to buy some specific things for equipment. This lens, my phone, <laughs> uh, the GoPro. If I didn't start that job, I wouldn't have these things. Yeah, these are the pros of working 9 to 5 job. But on the other side, why you shouldn't work a 9 to 5 job? The problem is that, first of all, working at a cafe store is not a, a career job. Like, you just work just to get some pennies. <laughs> but you know, I just kept working because I knew that it's only for 7 months. I mean, if you start out, you can work a 9 to 5 job. But that's it, like just work for a little bit and then do something that you are your own boss. Also something else that I 
hated a lot is, was that I just didn't have any flexibility. I knew that those hours I had to be uh, at work and I couldn't go somewhere else. And you know, my friends would, would plan something and, and then say, you know, do you want to come there? We're gonna go there to hang out. And I was like, no, fuck, I, I'm working. And also something else is that, you know, I think I'm a creative person. That's why I like music, like vlogs. Okay, so uh, working that job that there was no creativity, you know, I was like, uh, what's the point of doing this? Yeah, so that was the review of working that job. If you ask me, I'm not gonna ever work such a job. If I ever need to work, I'll try to find something that is closer to music, audio, video, I don't know, something closer to that, not just making coffees and dealing with bad customers and uh, yeah, fuck this shit. Uh, I'm good now, okay, my my uh, happiness is going up right now. I'm in Gran Canaria, I'll spend some days here and then I'll leave. You guys see the next videos, basically, I'm not gonna spoil the rest of the story. So now, let's go and hang out, bro. Bro? <laughs> I decided to rent a car to get around faster. So this is the car for today. So I just put it here and the one liter here costs 1.3 euros, that's incredible. <laughs> In Greece it's 2.2 right now. <laughs> After doing a search on the internet, I decided to go to a place called Pico de la Nieves. It is the highest point of the island at 2000 meters altitude. It took me one hour to get there. The route was very beautiful. Breathtaking view. Unfortunately, there was a fire a few months ago and a large part of the mountain was burned. One of the great benefits of solo traveling is that you are more sociable. And why am I saying this? The good thing with traveling on your own is that you meet people so easily and I just, I met a guy and now we're gonna go hang out. His name was Moritz, a German guy who lived on the island. He was super friendly and nice and we arranged to hang out together for the rest of the day. for this video. Thank you. Bye bye from Gran Canaria. See you in the next video.